And welcome back and we're watching out for your personal security at 630. A woman whose phone was stolen might be able to solve the crime herself thanks to pictures discovered in a Google account taken after the phone was stolen. You saw Jessica Bretto caught up with her. Jessica's in studio with more on what we can all learn about these crimes, Jessica. That's right. Well, Colorado Springs police often hit a dead end without any leads, and these cases go cold. But if you have any data from your stolen phone pointing to a suspect, police can continue to devote resources to solving it. And the woman I spoke to wants others to learn how to use technology to catch a thief. Christina Ortiz lost a razor phone and an e-cigarette a month ago. She left them inside the car with the door unlocked. My boyfriend was in his car and asked if I had gone through it, if I was looking for something because things were scattered around. Um, he, I was like, no, I wasn't looking for anything. And then we noticed that the e-cig um, and the phone were gone. She brushed it off until yesterday when her boyfriend made a startling discovery of a stranger in their photos. Sent me a picture and asked if I knew who this guy was and I was like, Nope, never seen him before. So we just put two and two together that it uploaded whenever he stole the phone. There's even a picture of the man watching a video on how to use the phone. And even though Ortiz doesn't care if she gets it back, she wants to prevent this from happening again. What if it ended up being somebody's purse? It ended up being a necklace from somebody's grandmother that they can't get back. So. For me, the e-cig and the phone are a loss, but I don't want anybody else to lose anything. So she has a word of advice for folks who have a smart device stolen. Technology is amazing. Just go through your account, see if you can find it in any way. And also, how to protect them in the first place. Definitely make sure you lock your car. Ortiz plans to file a police report and hadn't before because she says the items weren't valuable and she didn't want to wrongly accuse the man in the picture. But police want to remind everyone any theft is still a crime and they'll be the ones to investigate exactly who did what. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs, Jessica Barreto, News 5.